It's time to find out who our lucky winner is. If you will, in just a second, check under the stone under your foot. <laughs> the specially marked stone will tell us whose cell phone is going underground. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if you want to actually check, but yeah, up to you. Anyway, for the ceiling of the 2035 and 2060 time capsules, uh, may we call on Dr. Bruce Valentino, Deputy Director General for Communication and Partnerships. Thank you, Tony. Uh, there are a few additional personalities we would like to participate in this important occasion. Uh, first, may we recognize and invite to the stage uh, Vice Mayor Kopi Alipon of the town of Los Banos, the city of Los Banos. Uh, please, sir, join us. See here? Vice Mayor Alipa? Oh, he's gone? All right, so let's go on to the uh, representative of the provincial government, Attorney Dulce Rabanao, provincial administrator. And of course, we have a representative of the uh, municipality of Bae here that we uh, work with very closely, Mr. Mariano Arcelius. Please join us. Sir. Okay. Now to assist in the uh, loading of the time capsules, uh, we would like to call uh, the personalities in pairs, and as they approach the uh, capsules, uh, I will read out what's going into the capsules. Uh, first, uh, Director Corenta Guerta and Mr. Arcelias, please. Opa. Ms. Guerta and Mr. Arcelias are putting into the capsule a letter from Dr. Lloyd Evans to Robert Ziegler on this occasion. They're also putting the program and flyer for today's activities. They're also putting the newspapers from today, January 27, 2016. And in fact, one of those newspapers reports on this activity for today. And finally, the latest issue of the Erie Bulletin. The second batch will be loaded by Director Christine Crooms and the representative of Los Banos, Vice Alipa, but he's not here, right? So may we request Attorney Dulce Rabana to join Ms. Crooms. Being placed in the second batch of items is a USB containing eerie videos, particularly the video of the Director General's message, plus selected YouTube videos. The list of all eerie staff as of the end of 2014, and a list of members of the Board of Trustees of Erie as of January 2015. The third batch will be loaded by a young representative of our science team, the AFSTRI. Janelle, June, are you here? Janelle. She is one of the young generation. She will probably still be around when the 100th year anniversary capsule is open. She will be accompanied by our very young chancellor of UPLB. Dr. Sanchez. So, young leaders of the science community, 
and they will be placing into the capsule a copy of the National Geographic magazine that features Erie, the latest issue of Rice Today, a calendar from 2014 which includes the birds of Erie, and a few famous films from 2014, including a film like Frozen and Guardians of the Galaxy. Culture. Thank you very much. The young group. May you still be around in 2016. <laughs> the next batch will be loaded by uh, Deputy Director General Matthew Morrill and the representative of the Australian government, Ms. Cecil Onrana. They will be placing in the capsule a photo montage, a video of overview of the Erie campus and a set of Erie's commemorative hostage stamps and the Erie super bag and two books from the Australian Council for International Agricultural Research. And now for a fine, uh, another batch to be led by uh, Deputy Director General Norman MacDonald, accompanied by and with Senator Cynthia Villiard. They will be loading a list of rice varieties developed at Erie, all 1,200 pages of it. a set of recently released rice varieties and the current Erie moisture meter. Thank you. And now for a final and very important set to be loaded up by Dr. and Mrs. Robert Ziegler. Robert Ziegler and Chrisan Ziegler. Please, Chrisan, are you here? Please. Yes, there she is, yeah. They will be loading a set of items, a document that speaks of Erie Vision 2035, investing in the future, the Erie Strategic Plan for 2007 to 2015, the blueprints for the Lloyd Evans Plant Growth Facility, a media kit of Erie, the Cosmos Magazine issue of February March 2014, featuring the work of Erie. And finally, a set of personal things contributed by Dr. Ziegler, including a cell phone, <laughs> his cell phone. Very old. <laughs> uh, Bob, you should check if the memory card is still in it. <laughs> I don't think Some have frequent a flyer card. cards that Bob has collected over the years. All right. And the Time Magazine issue of December 15, 2014, talking about half the world is not enough. Right. Okay, there you go. There's still a lot of room. Anybody got more phones? All right. Now the guests will all participate in uh, in uh, the ceremony to bury the time capsules. And for a minute, our uh, physical plant team will seal the capsules and lower it into place. By the way, this site where the capsule is being buried will be part of the driveway, the front area, the facade of the new facility. So that as the driveway curves in, this spot will be right in the middle of that driveway grassy area. So it's just right to check on again in 2035 and 2016 for those of us who will still be around. <laughs> Thank you.
And now may I invite the key guests to participate in the uh, burying the capsule. Uh, first, representing the Philippine government and the Australian government, may I request Senator Villar and Ms. Honrado to come forward. The Philippine government and the Australian government. To <laughs> Using a golden shovel. All right. Thank you very much. Next, representing the neighbors, the neighboring academic institutions, research institutions, the International Rice Research Institute, and the University of the Philippines at Los Baños, Dr. Ziegler and Dr. Sanchez, please come forward. Representing the local government of uh, Bae, Los Baños, and Laguna. Uh, first, Attorney Dulce Rebanal and Vice Mayor Opi Alipo. And Mr. Mariano Arcilias, of course. Thank you very much. Now to close this entire occasion, happy occasion, may I request uh, Bob Ziegler to say a few last words. And before we do that, however, please, all the honored guests line up in front of the time capsules for a final photo op. <laughs> With the hat and the shovel. And the shovel. So we can probably we can still probably put the photo in the time capsule. <laughs> yes. Looking good. Going once, going twice. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Now to close the occasion, may I request uh, Dr. Robert Ziegler to provide the closing remarks, please? <laughs> 